Hello, my lovely Leo. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Leo, today we'll do your daily reading. This will be for the 7th and the 8th. Happy weekend to all of you. Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus Science for you, loves. Today we'll use a new Oracle deck. And look how beautiful it looks inside and out. Yes. And the deck is called LW Oracle. Very beautiful and very insightful. And of course, we'll use our tarot and the spirit guides messages from the witch's tarot. Let's see here, Leo, what we have from the Oracle for all of you. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for Leo's general reading. Also, take you... Take the message suited for you. Leave what's not loves. We have Rane. She who hopes. Love, hope, relationships. That's very, very beautiful. And underneath we have Hannah. She who listens. Understanding, witness, compassion. But let's see here, Rene, what that is meaning for this beautiful card and how that moves for all of you all right the message of this card is to give us hope your dreams of love are possible regardless of any history indicating otherwise when you are able to look back and see how every connection has brought you to this place, you begin to build your own bridge from loneliness to happiness. Always remember, you must crown yourself first. For no one else can make you see your own worth if you don't already own it. Believe in love. Believe the lessons of the past was simply to give you opportunities to become the amazing human you are now. I feel here it is a Leo who kind of lost the track of love or basically lost is like, I don't want it, I don't believe in love anymore, I will focus on me more and more. And Spirit says there is love, but also you need to recognize that what is coming for you let's see here loves what we have for overall energy for today who you are dealing and what's the message here behind for you to listen today or to hear today spirit give me some insights some messages for the leo sun moon rising signs and venus signs you always know this message is coming in today but these readings are way way bigger than just one day let's see here loves what we got here and how we are moving forward with this all right loves ace of pentacles you believe it or not it is coming my loves there is a very good offer probably from an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn for some of you you have a big good fabulous amazing offer of job and I definitely see here you are might think here what should I do regards that why you're feeling stuck my loves here with the hangman for what your sacrifices here what you have been afraid I see very very like deep deep inside you you are very much afraid what can be should I move should I stay Am I stuck where I am not? And Queen of Swords is the queen who is very clear for what she wants to go forward. Be very clear, my loves. Look deep inside your your thoughts. Look deep inside your, your fears. High Priestess, Moon, Hangman. I see very much of a Pisces for some of you, Air Sign. But definitely it is something you might be very very excited to go to ace of swords be very clear what your deepest desires are 
Don't be afraid. Speak your own truth. Don't hang in there. What It's like you are being stuck on something which was ended. It's like you sacrifice for, for something which is not yours. Yes, I do see Leo who you do love or you loved very much. It is time for you to unchain yourself. Eight of Swords. Let go of those thoughts. I cannot do it. I cannot make it. This will not make you move forward. Because I definitely see here it is a, a thing of I cannot do it. I'm very confused. Everybody who comes towards me use like I want to be in a relationship, in a stable relationship. But I feel an option in the long term. Stop being an option. For some of you it's just like be very clear. If you are meeting somebody... The first date, you got to be knowing what you want from that person or how you see them in your life. You see them as a friend, as a lover, or as a wife or a husband. You got to know that. And don't be fearful to say it. Because I feel here, inside you, you feel like I need to do it. But it's like, I'm not sure if I need to say it. I see very much a watery energy. But also I do see Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel here you are fear of commitments. It is here, but that's movement forward. Whatever confusion you had regards commitments, time will show to you. The divine is on your side. If you're hoping for getting a good relationship or a commitment, it is coming. But you need to let go something which was ended here, probably with a water sign or air sign. You do have a fabulous new beginning, my loves. You absolutely do. But you need to be very clear to see it because you don't really, you don't really see it here. For some, for some of you, it is a Taurus. We have the bull here underneath. Okay, but it is an offer, Knight of Cups, it is an offer, and this offer you might not see in it here, because you are not clear, or you are not seeking deep inside you, Leo, why is happening this, why is me here, because I see you very much into your thoughts, it's like your fears, your thoughts. For some of you, Leo, you sacrifice for somebody here for a long, long time. That person is at the distance or distance themselves from you. I don't see you close to that person. I don't see you talking with that person. And I definitely see here the moon in Pisces, the new moon in Pisces give you that vibe that you need to move forward. Follow that and you will see how beautifully can turn out for you okay let's see here why you are so much afraid for some of you definitely you had deep feelings for somebody and it was very hard for you Taurus energy very strong here I don't know why I do see a lot of Taurus because we have the bull here in the Queen of Swords we have the bull here and we have the Hierophant here for those of you who are with a Taurus or been with a Taurus. That's your reading, loves. Why you are hanging in here. Chariot. Ten of Wands. I don't see you will stay for long here, my loves. I don't see you for too long in this energy of I need to sacrifice myself. Because Ten of Wands is of a big burden for you. But why you've been afraid here? Lovers. I'm afraid to love somebody again. I'm afraid to move forward with the new love. Six of Pentacles for some reason came in reverse. For some of you, you've been afraid to not be breadcrumbed anymore. I don't know why the card jumped in reverse, but we'll read it as it's coming, okay? Don't be afraid because the next person will not breadcrumb you. Also... I will say, find the balance, emotional balance here, emotional in your deep thoughts, and move forward with that. 
Yes, because once you let go, whatever was in the past, you will experience way, way more happiness. You do know it. When I have high priestess in one in the reading, you do know it. But it's kind of you are blindfolded for what was in the past here. Let's see why you've been blindfolded here. Five of Cups. The past. The past was very dark or the past was very heavy for you. Page of Pentacles. Somebody give you very lila. For some of you, you might not see a very good offer coming towards you. Two of Cups jumped here down on the floor. And for some of you, yes, somebody could breadcrumb you in the past. Somebody could offer you very lila. Even they say that they will give you very much. But I feel here it's time for you to let go and move forward because you can be successful. I see a lot of water. I see strongly Taurus energy. And I do see air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or air a Taurus energy here. Nine of Wands. You've been through a lot, my loves. You've been through a lot. Don't overthink the situation. Don't overthink. Okay? Empress. Libra or a Taurus. If you are dealing with a Taurus, my loves, and you are still thinking with that person, there will be some communication here. If you are thinking when this happening here, we have three nines. If you want to reunite with somebody here, think very closely, okay? Because the situation is almost over. When we get to ninth, we have nine of, uh, nine of pentacles, nine of swords, and nine of wands. The only nine is missing is nine of cups. Is the wish fulfillment. If you want to talk with somebody here, that will happen. There is a reconciliation of some sort. The energies are coming back. Somebody here will come back around temperance and wheel of fortune. For some of you, it is a sag. But in that regards, needs to be a decision. And that is in a short time. The decision is on your side, my loves. Okay? If you're hoping somebody to come back, talk to you, communicate or, you know, tell you something that will happen. Okay? There is a situation at the bottom here. And the Nine of Cups is right here next to Eight of Wands. Okay. And as you know, Nines are at the end of the cycle. Either is movement forward, either is done in here. Either is closure. Okay. Definitely beautiful energy. Whatever was in balance in the past now is balancing out also for you if somebody treats you as an option but you treating them as the main thing as the one and they coming back i will say here with this magician you better tell them what you are looking for for real don't hold back my loves don't hold back be very specific with this person for you to not experience the same pain as you've been before okay for those of you who are looking for new love there is coming there is coming okay and i feel here the one who's coming here will love you even you'll be afraid to be with that person find first thing first balance for some of you you need to be balanced your emotions for some of you, you need to balance yourself financially, you know, set the boundaries, being honest, put the honesty be beyond everything else. And that, you will come, that stability you are looking for. Because I definitely see it is coming. It is coming. So, Leos, this is what I got for this weekend. I want to thank each of you who are coming in here. Join this channel. 
Thank you and have a blessed weekend. Namaste.